And good morning people, welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Last time we recruited Magnamon and well, I have to make a level Digimon. I've decided to go with the group of Orphanimon, Lotusmon, Machinesmon, Saberleamon and Sakuyamon for the moment. And as you might see I have gained a couple of levels on them because, well, if I get into a boss fight, I don't really want to go in with level 1 on uh, Digimon at this stage of the game. So yeah, I should be level, uh, maybe level 20 by the time I get into the next boss fight. But we're not going into a area which has a high amount of experience to say to get that level before uh, to get those levels before fighting it. So that's why I've done it. We need to do a case before uh, Mere actually uh, is able to open up the gateway. And luckily enough, Miyota here has had some more sightings of the white boy. So, you don't have a whole lot of detail. You can go into here and, well, there's no, no case about it yet. And Kyoko doesn't say a whole lot about it. She just says to go and talk to Mary. And Murray is just saying it'll take a while to go and do uh, the uh, to create this being that will cut through dimensions. Go and do a case. So there's a whole, not a whole lot of uh, guidance here. So you sort of have to figure it out yourself. It took me a while. But, where we're we going is to Kowloon level 1. Back where it all started. Our first sighting of the uh, white boy, and well, here's our exclamation mark. And it seems word about the big battle between the Zaxons, the Rebels and the Judes turned up and freeway brawl. And yeah. Some guy told out him that he saw Yuko on Kowloon level one. And he's actually a ghost, some kind of immortal hacker. They are. Well, at least we know now that the ghost itself was Yugo, but his sort of consciousness trying to get in touch with us. Apparently, we've got a, a case from the legendary man himself, or. well who Yuko in, and the actual the actual person Yuko is so one new case was ad added Yuko and Yugo so Yuko Kamashiro wants us to talk about Yugo, and he's going to be in, well, she's going to be in the hospital room. Mm. 
I just saw memory up and I forgot I have, uh, still have one here, so let's use that. So, off to Central Hospital. I do believe all the uh, ports into the underground are still available. Um, so, any of the digital shifts are still open for us. The uh, one in Weno in the mu museum, Asak Asakusa, Asakusa isn't available yet. Akihabara, I don't think, becomes available ever. Except for a, a place uh, later. Uh, Shibuya and Shinjuku are always available now. But Central Hospital, we are not allowed in that area because we're not family. However, this nurse knows that we're a friend of Yuko's, so he's going to sneak us in. And Yuko is just thinking of deleting the Yugo avatar. Any reason why, Yuko? Received from Ray. Well, there's a good enough reason in itself. Trying to disconnect yourself from that lady. It's a special avatar allows you to pass through the system even if you're the wrong personal account. So it's a hacker's dream to just get through security. And whenever, whenever you're using it, you actually became Yugo. And whatever else Ray put in, into that avatar itself, because it was created by her. But it does belong to Yugo, not to anyone. So, this is why we're here, to witness the last moments of Yuko the Hacker. Or not. Avatar can't be deleted. Yeah, we, there's a few people that have seen Yugo in Eden. And Yuko hasn't been using that avatar. The few times we've seen her in Eden. She's been herself, not Yugo. So the case has not be is now not to witness the end of Yugo. It's to find out who's got Yugo. This is her, her brother he's talking uh, that we're talking about here. She's not going to take this line down. Anyone who wants to pretend to be her brother? Yeah. Sure she did it, but uh, I'm not sure if it's the same way as anyone else would use that. It 
Is it dangerous to go without Digimon? Especially since the Yuko Avatar's got a certain uh, machine drum on, on him. Prepare the sub Digimon for the Yuko Kamashiro account. Not quite to the level of an Ultimate Rise Greymon or Machine Dramon, but it'll be okay. Yeah, uh, she had a Rise Greymon as well. We, I don't think we ever saw it. So, Kowloon level 1. Can't get access to it from the outside. Well, yeah, it's a very heavily protected account made by Ray herself. Must be a genius hacker. So, off to Eden. And of course, Kowloon level 1. Basically now we're just going to walk around and talk to people, um, just see if they've got, uh, seen any sights of the Yugo Avatar, and well, see what happens from there. This is what I mean by there's not a whole lot of uh, places to get the levels. Uh, we'll be in Kowloon level 1 for a little bit, which is very low level, it's, so experience won't come very well and only briefly in another level before the next boss. Hugo's whereabouts. And you definitely live up to your name as a bad pun hacker. Are you any better? Can you actually say anything that's actually worth reading? Nope, you basically don't know. Okay. Well, this is a mismatch. How about you? You go loving Avis the hacker. Maybe if you uh, your you go loving Avis you go loving hacker, maybe you've been able to see him. Or not. Okay. Okay, the last hacker on Kowloon level 1. Of course he's going to know something. A long time ago, down on Kowloon level 2. So, 
since we're right next to air vapor let's go to Kowloon level 2 okay levels Much as I want to bring Saber Leomon into this fight, because he does have a couple, uh, a couple of good abilities, uh, with Animal Colosseum increasing Earth skills and well, Hell and Crusher Comet Comet Hammer. He's also going to be three times as sort of um, susceptible to Infinity Cannon. So I don't know if he's going to have the uh, health to survive it. He is the highest health total, so it's possible. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, we're going up against Hugo. There, I spoiled it for you. Of course, he's got his, uh, uh, machine drum on. Not used to this avatar yet, so it's hard to speak properly. Yeah, she's... Most of her experience in Eden has been with the Yugo avatar, not Yuko. Email from Yugo. Waiting for you in the place I was born. Avalon server URL was attached. Probably a trap. So we're going along to help. So, you go. It is, and this is a bit creepy. It, she's basically speaking to herself. And it's not true that the account has been hacked. No one is actually logged in as you go right now. Account created by Ray with its own AI in order to manipulate Yuko. So she could think as you go. The ideal hacker designed to unify all the hackers of Eden. This is what this avatar is. It is the AI that was manip that was mimicking you go. reason why Yuko could be so convincing because let's face it she's not a loud and out there person she's very calm very reserved a thinker Yuko very very much in your face Is 
is not because she wants to be Hugo, it's because that's her brother, not her. She doesn't want to depend on this. Machine Dramon is Yugo's, not Yuko's. It's tied to the account. Rise Greymon, on the other hand, has chosen Yuko. One last fight against Hugo, and as many attacks against Rise Greymon would be wonderful. I'm quite a bit I'm not even sure if I'm actually going to win this fight I've got a lot of things to go through and well yeah I'm not doing a whole lot of damage How hard is this going to hit? Very. Okay. Okay. You can come in... Do it. No, don't really want to, but uh, hopefully you'll be okay. I'm likely not going to win this fight, mostly because Machine Dramon hits extremely hard. Especially when uh, once he actually gets. Go in and does Infinity Cannon. So I might have to come back and uh, get a few after I've got a few more levels.
shooting, that is okay because it doesn't really do anything. Okay, log on again. Change the Qmon for that. Same with Liamon. Don't... Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get a hit hit off with machine drum on. Let's do that. If you can actually do um, attacks while he's he's got his defense down, that would be much more helpful, uh, Rise Greymon. Okay, log on. Again, he's done chain plus on at the wrong time. How much does inf this do again? Not as much as Windflaw. Okay.
Okay, right, it's great one. You're gonna do something useful. That's what, four times now? Okay, we're still good for stuff. Log on, that's sort of what I was expecting. Here comes Trident with Volvo, because it's at a long time. Oh no, it's a skill that we didn't need. And this is going to be a medical spray. Because I need some SP as well. I'm not going to get another attack off before auto repair, so we'll just do some damage. Chain plus? No! Shooting is perfectly fine. Would be better if I didn't have that. Hmm. Okay. Let us try this. So I don't want anyone to really miss out on the experience. Okay, you've logged on, but I should have two attacks before then, so this fight should be over. And done. Oh. <laughs> and only 2,000 experience for that. <laughs> really. Had to play it a bit safe in more ways than one, so because my levels were so low compared to what Machine Dramon was and well I didn't exactly have type advantage on that one. I had free data types so Machine Dramon could easily just go and wipe out, out those. Just had to space out the uh, and just had to minimize the losses as with, uh, so I didn't have to revive every time. That's why I kept Lotus Mon um, dead until the end of the fight. So yeah, it would have been a whole lot easier if I had a, a lot of my other group. Um, Panjimon is an amazing in Digimon again, uh, for this. Um, increases Earth attacks, has a couple of Earth attacks himself. And uh, is vaccine based, so yeah, he's a 
good choice to have. Um, Lady Devamon instead of Lotus Mon is better because virus instead of data. And there's a few other things. The only reason I really stayed up there was because Machine Drummon can, my one, can take a bit of a damage uh, beating, and Orphanimon is type advantage for a back thing. But, got through it. I'm actually surprised I did. We'd get a Master Guard, so I'm not sure what that is. Mac Rush 2. I think I want that in place of Heaven's Thunder. Rune Forest 2, uh, that can go in place of Power Energy. Shining Laser 2, there's a lot of uh, area attacks in this, uh, in this set group so far. Wind Claw 3. That can go in place of Comet Hammer too. So, Hugo is defeated. I honestly believe this will be the last time we have to fight him. Mostly because, well, he's someone who really shouldn't exist right now, but here he is. And Yuko's decided not to delete it. I'm not sure what's happened. So, Rise Greymon. Did help a little bit, but at the wrong times, but at least we had him there. He's. could have done better, but let's just say. He, let's just put it this way. It was helpful. Just a little bit of extra damage to keep me going. And, well. Because of the bond, Rise Greymon, an ultimate level, has digivolved. I cannot remember what that one's name is. I honestly have never seen it before. So, maybe it's in the uh, field guide now that I've seen it on this, but I don't think it will be. In the middle of doing a round of cake shops in the Carno. Are we going? Well, it's cake. And cake means yes. Until the manager ended up crying? Wow, she must have made a lot. seen many instances of counts being stolen by Digimon. For a human-like AI to start ki uh, stealing the counts... Yeah. More and more strange things are happening in cyberspace.
if you could be referred to as strange, well, technically, yeah, we're still in this half cyber body. So, now that that's done, and we can get the reward for memory up, Mirai is done with her preparations. Ah, that's good. Uh, which swift royal knight Digimon dons blue Digizoid armor? I believe it's that one. Ultra Ultra Force Reef Drummond. Anyways, next time, let's go and see Mirai and open up this gateway to a parallel world. Well, speaking of Ultra Force Midramon, we need to go and find one to replace the one that was lost during the large digital shift that was caused by Crusadermon. So, until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.